guys, 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 I know, I know, it's story time, but wait, wait. Welcome to Read Aloud, a place where books for children come alive. Okay, are we ready to start the story? In this episode, we're gonna read a very special book. Why is it special? Because it's my book. It's entitled The Iron Man, a play. The Iron Man, a play. Illustrations by Eric Barrientos. Grown-ups never understand anything for themselves and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Little Prince by Antoine de Soubery. There are two, four, six, eight characters in this play. The big brother, his name is Brandon, the little sister, her name is Alice, the little brother, his name is Wassan, the father, the mother, the chief messenger, the messengers, and the Iron Man. Let's begin. Act 1. First Sight. There are five people in the Lester's family. The father, the mother, Brandon, Alice, and Wassan. They live in a house on top of a hill. Brandon is nine years old and goes to school in a nearby town. Alice, his four-year-old sister, and Wassan, his three-year-old brother, are too young to go to school. So they spend most of their time at home with their mother. Brandon comes home from school. He enters the living room where his father is sitting comfortably in an armchair while his mother is in front of the dressing table. Brandon, good morning, Dad. Father, reading the newspaper. Good afternoon. How was your day at school? Brandon, looking excited. It was good, Dad. We had the competition and I... Father, still reading the newspaper. Did you wash your hands? Brandon, no, but first let me tell you about the combat. Father, putting down the newspaper angrily. Go and tell your mom. Brando, hello mom. Mother, doing her nails. Hello darling, how was school today? Brandon, it was good mom, we had the competition and I... Mother, still doing her nails. First, go and wash your hands. Right away, dinner is ready. Brandon, quite disappointed. Okay mom. Brandon goes to the bathroom and washes his hands. During this time, the messengers see the Iron Man across the field, heading towards the house. They come to inform the family about the danger. Wassan, what's that noise, Alice? Alice, I don't know. It's coming from outside. Wassan, then let's go and see. They go outside and meet the messengers. Alice, who are you? Wassan, and what do you want? The chief messenger. We are the messengers and we are here to inform you that the Iron Man is coming your way. Warn your family. The messengers. Warn your family. The messengers leave. Alice, we have to tell Brandon. Wassan, yes, yes, let's tell him now. Alice and Wassan run to the bathroom where Brandon is drying his hands on a towel. Alice and Wassan. Brandon, Brandon. Brandon, calm down, what happened? Alice and Wassan, we saw the messengers. Brandon, and what did they say? Wassan, they said the Iron Man is coming this way. Brandon, oh no, let's go and tell dad. The three of them go to the dining room where their parents are waiting for them at the table. Brandon, dad, dad. Father, did you wash your hands? Brandon, yes dad, but the messengers. Father, getting ready for dinner. Okay then, sit down and eat, all of you. Brandon, but that the Iron Man... Father, not now. Tell your mom. Brandon, mom, the Iron... Mother, eating. Sit down and eat. Alice and Wasson, but... Mother, with her mouth full. Do not talk while you're eating. Brandon, just listen. Father, shouting, sit down. The Lesters have dinner in silence. When dinner is over, the father stands up and walks to his armchair. His mobile phone starts ringing. 
father. Now, go to your room and sleep for one hour. You must be tired. Brandon, but dad, listen. Father, talking on the mobile phone. I'm busy now. We'll talk when you get up. Brandon, mom. Mother, turning on the TV. No, 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 no. You need to get some rest first. I listen, Brandon, but... Father, angrily, still talking on the phone. You too, go to bed, now. And that's the end of act one. Act two, I'm busy. During this time, the messengers see the Iron Man coming closer. Now they can see his big green eyes. They come to inform the family about the danger. The Iron Man comes to the middle of the hall. What well, son, what's that noise, Alice? Alice, I don't know. It's coming from outside. What well, son, then let's go and see. They go outside and meet the messengers. Alice, what is it now? Chief messenger, we are here to inform you that the Iron Man is close and is coming this way. What well, son, did you see him? Chief messenger, yes, he's huge and he has two big green eyes. Warn your family! Messengers, warn your family! The messengers go back. Alice, we have to tell Brandon! Wasan, yes, yes, let's tell him now! Alice and Wasan run to the bedroom where Brandon is waking up. Alice and Wasan, Brandon, Brandon! Brandon, calm down, what happened? Alice and Wasan, we saw the messengers again! Brandon, and what did they say? Wasan, they said the Iron Man is closer. Brandon, oh no, let's go and tell Dad. The three of them go to see their father. Brandon, Dad, Dad. Father, reading a book. Did you have a good sleep? Brandon, yes, Dad, you know, the messengers. Father, looking up from his book. Okay then, now go to your room and do your homework for tomorrow. Brandon, but Dad, the Iron... Father, angrily, don't you see I'm busy? Go and tell your mom. Brandon, mom, mom, mother, reading a magazine. What now? Did you finish your homework? Brandon, no, but the iron... Mother, still reading a magazine. Then go and do your homework. Brandon, but mom, just listen. Father and mother, we are busy now. We'll talk when you finish your homework. Alice and Wasan, but... Father, angrily, you two, go and play outside. Brandon goes to his room and starts writing his homework. Alice and Wasan go out and play with the ball. End of Act 2 Act 3 Go and tell your mom. During this time, the messengers see the Iron Man coming very close. They return to inform the family about the danger. The Iron Man comes near the stage. Wasan can you see that over there? Alice, yes, I think they are the messengers. Well, son, let's go and meet them. They go to meet the messengers. Alice, where is the Iron Man? Chief messenger, he is very close. You should abandon the house right now. Well, son, oh no! Chief messenger, warn your family, abandon the house. Messengers, warn your family, abandon the house. The messengers go back. Alice, we have to tell Brandon. Wasan, yes, yes, let's tell him now. Alice and Wasan run to the room where Brandon has just finished his homework. Alice and Wasan, Brandon, Brandon. Brandon, calm down, what happened? Alice and Wasan, the messengers were here again. Brandon, and what did they say? Wasan, they said the Iron Man is very close. Alice, and that we should abandon the house. Brandon, oh no. Let's go and tell Dad. The three of them go to see their father who is sleeping. Brandon, Dad, Dad. Father, sleeping in the armchair. Did you finish your homework? Brandon, yes, Dad. The messenger's father with his eyes closed. Okay, then. Now, you can go and play with your brother and sister. Brandon, but Dad, the iron... Father, in a sleepy voice. I'm tired. Go and tell your mom. Brandon, mom, mom. Mother, <sighs> drinking coffee. Yes, my dear. Brandon, the Iron Man. Mother, stop this nonsense. Go and play. Brandon, 
But mom, just listen. Mother, still drinking coffee. Let me drink my coffee in peace. We'll talk when I'm finished. Alison was said, but... Father and mother, go and play, all of you. At that moment, there is a loud noise. The father gets up scared. Father, waking up. What was that? Brandon, I think it's the eye. Mother, with the cup to her mouth. Shh, listen, something is coming this way. Brandon, Dad, let's go right now. Father looking around angrily. Don't be silly, go where? And that's the end of Act 3. Act 4. The Iron Man arrives. The Iron Man steps on the stage. Everyone is shocked and scared. Father scared. What is that? Brandon, Alice and Wasan. It's the Iron Man! Mother dropping her cup to the floor. <gasps> you know about it? Brandon, yes, we tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. If you had listened, we could have escaped. Alice and Wasan, now it's too late. The Iron Man, I'm hungry. Father, scared, and what do you want to eat? The Iron Man, your big car. Mother crying, oh no, why didn't we listen to our children, why? And that's the end of our story, The Iron Man, A Play, by yours truly, Wojku Michnia Simandan, with illustrations by Eric Barrientos. I'm under attack, ah, please, help me, help me, help me, come back for more stories.